Welcome back to Dual Sided. Joe Rogan, he gave his thoughts on the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. During Monday's Joe Rogan Experience podcast, you know, Rogan and Tim Pool, who's a, you know, he's a journalist slash podcaster slash YouTuber, you know, they discussed Kyle Rittenhouse and his trial. You know, so during the clip before we play it, you know, Rogan mentions that, you know, they're waiting for the verdict the day of. So obviously that has to be the day of the verdict. So obviously since then, Rittenhouse has been found not guilty, you know, due to self-defense. And, you know, this is what they discussed on the recent Joe Rogan experience. What's going on? Well, we're, we're sitting here waiting for this uh, Rittenhouse um, verdict, right? Which is uh, apparently going to happen today, maybe. And uh, it, it, what's, what's interesting to me is that people are framing this as a race thing. From the beginning well and then m many people are realizing now because they're paying attention to the trial that he actually shot white people yeah <laughs> like there's many people that thought that this kyle rittenhouse kid had shot black protesters when in fact it was white antifa rioters and then if you look at their record they were all criminals like the people he shot they were it, 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 that's a tough point, you know. Joseph Rosenbaum, and I don't know how how graphic you want to get, because do you know this guy's history? The first guy who attacked Kyle, who died. Do you know his history? Yes, I do. Well, go ahead. Good graphic. Tell graphic. Him. He yeah. children. I believe he one little boy, and he performed oral on some, several little boys. Apparently, he would try and date single mothers to uh, to uh, their children. He, that was when he was a teenager, and then he went to prison. I believe it was for fifteen years. Now, the details here get murky. I don't know exactly. They say he got out of a mental hospital that morning. This guy was not Antifa. He was not Black Lives Matter, at least in my opinion. I think this is a guy who was suicidal. He was screaming, shoot me, N-word, shoot me, N-word, over and over again. He attacked a kid with a gun who was screaming, friendly, 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 and running away, and then tried grabbing it. And then within 0.739 of a second, Rittenhouse let off four shots as, as, uh, um, as Rosenbaum was reaching for his gun, as testified by Richie McGinnis. And he crumpled to the ground. And that's when these other guys, the whole mob, you know, Kyle runs for the police. And then the rest of the mob starts running after him, like, get him, cranium that boy, get him, get him, get him. Get that boy. That's what Rosenbaum must have said in his mind with his history. But, you know, Rittenhouse, you know, he has an interview with Tucker Carlson later today within a couple hours. You know, so he's probably going to go more into detail there. Um, you seen you kept up with the trial or not really? Yeah, probably the ending more. What What are your thoughts? You think it was uh, accurate the self defense argument? Yeah, yeah. I mean, self defense. That's what you know. That's what he he got off on. You know, obviously the three. Uh, he killed two. One of them still. One of them's got the bicep. And obviously these two. He mentioned that they have a criminal history. One of them just. I mean, he didn't even. He in my opinion, I don't think he de deserves to even be counted as one but either way yeah the one yeah the one he shot in the bicep he basically you know he's basically the reason one of the reasons that he's not or the verdict came out because he basically yeah uh, what did he say exactly that he, he said he, he came after him with a gun first yeah he basically said oh i pointed a gun at him that that's when he shot me yeah so. which i mean at that point kind of threw the i mean either way if, even if he didn't say that it would have been hard to get him in prison but i mean that that for sure didn't help the the prosecuting team. So either way, Tucker, Tucker Carlson later today, uh, Rittenhouse will go more into detail. So this is Joe Rogan discussing that trial. So once again, comment down below your thoughts. Um, Instagram, Twitter, follow us down below. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Peace.